We're about to have breakfast at Pioneer. I want to see our favorite places. That is so cute, Mickey. What? Uh, no, no, you and this one. Yeah. <laughs> look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at Everybody smile. Oh, look at the McKinnon's even smiling. Look at that. Let's do one tall here. Get some more totem pole. McKinnon. <laughs> McKinnon. Azzy. 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 It's one quick little smile. Azzie. We are officially on the road. Leaving Texas. I already miss Texas and we're still in Texas. We've been in Texas for a while. It takes eight years to drive out of the state. I know. Why is the state so wide? Because it's amazing. It's huge I've because... I've seen cows, I've seen bulls, I've seen horses, lizards, continuing U.S. shotguns. I feel like I have a very fulfilled Texas experience this, this week. I feel like you have. I, feel I went like you... to a rodeo. I drove over a curb and I went four wheel driving in the parking lot. What else? You ate at Pioneer? I, had, I ate at Pioneer. I had bacon, I had sausage, I had biscuits and gravy. I had um, whatever that place is that I had never been there before, but I went there before, but I didn't go there before. Oh, Branding Iron? Branding Iron, so I had mm -hmm. brisket. Was that brisket? Um, what meat was that? Was it brisket? Kielbasa, I think, smoked sausage. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Potato salad. Potato salad. Steaks. Steaks. Yeah. We ate like kings and queens this week. I'm sorry, but McKinnon's over here snoring. <laughs> and there's been a little bit of car sickness um, mainly with me <laughs> um, McKinnon got sick I don't know if it was necessarily her being car sick I think it was more what do you say like I think she just had like drainage and upset tummy yeah July 49, um, US 167 South but Lafayette. she ended up throwing up in her car seat, which I was like, ah, freaks me out. There's low battery on this camera. Okay, I'm back, but she's totally fine now. Um, she's been super happy, she ate applesauce, but I have been really, really car sick. Uh, we stopped and got like nausea medicine, 
and um, some like acid reflux medicine and just a whole bunch of different medicine for me just hoping something would help and then we stopped and like sat down to eat dinner instead of just like grabbing dinner and continuing to drive because I had to get out of the car and sit down I had to just like not be in motion <laughs> So we got out and I sat down and I did feel a lot better like sitting down and not like being in the car moving and I had taken medicine right before I went in to eat and it was like medicine that was supposed to work in like four minutes. It was like really fast acting medicine. So I was like oh wow like this medicine really works. and. I'm gonna feel awesome now. What's up, girl? You wanna say hi to everyone? I think we're gonna do nose Frida at the hotel. <laughs> but the minute I like stood up to go to the restroom to change McKinnon, I felt sick again because I was walking. Like I was moving and that made me feel sick and I was like, great. So. <sighs> I do not feel better. I feel, I feel um, all better than I did before I took medicine. <laughs> but I definitely don't feel like better. I still feel super gross and terrible. And I don't normally get car sick. <laughs> But it's just this trip, I've been getting car sick, and I don't really know why. So it is now 12.10, and we are at the hotel, about to get ready for bed. McKinnon is very happy not to be in her car seat, but she's very tired. She may not act like it. We are all tired, and I am still feeling very sick so I'm excited to go to sleep the good news is tomorrow we don't have to worry about waking up super early and getting on the road because we have a shorter drive so we don't have to rush out um, and also the other good news is we're staying in a great hotel nice comfy beds so we'll get good rest tonight gonna wrap this up even though this is not the end of this vlog because it's the travel vlog so in about two seconds this vlog will continue but it will be the next day Ooh, the magic of vlogging and the interwebs and editing okay bye good morning and a blueberry muffin. I'm eating a sandwich. We've got tons of snacks in there. I'm watching Life Sentence. Matthew's um, having Subway. I'm watching Life Sentence, but I feel like I shouldn't watch it because I know, like I already know that it was canceled after one season. So if there are cliffhangers, I'm gonna be really mad because I'm not gonna know anything. But anyway, we are in Florida! Woo! But we're still not gonna be home for a long time. What time is it? It's 1.33. And we're not gonna be home until like 9 something. Right, Matthew? Maybe tomorrow. What? Maybe tomorrow. What? No. <laughs> so yeah, we still got a long drive, but I feel like we just got another burst of energy because we stopped for snacks. And to pee. <laughs> yeah, we stopped to go to the bathroom. McKinnon got changed. So I feel like 
All right, we got another boost of energy. <laughs> McKinnon got sick again. So after cleaning her up, Matthew was holding her up front for a little bit. McKinnon, are you getting ready to drive the car? <laughs> are you taking driving lessons from Daddy right now? Here you go. Are you taking driving lessons? Just a little tip for the future. Maybe don't put your legs through the steering wheel. <laughs> what? She can't stick her legs through the steering wheel? Yeah. I put them there. There's nowhere else for them to go. No, I was saying for the future when she drives. Oh, we're telling her don't do that? Yeah. <laughs> don't stick her legs through the steering wheel. Did she do that? No, I did. Oh. Is that fun? Uh. You're giggling. <laughs> Drive now. Can All you right, drive us the rest go. of the way? <laughs> and we're home. That was a quick trip. Uh. Uh, <laughs> so obviously we did not vlog a lot of that trip home, but basically it just kept getting worse. I kept getting more sick and I'm still feeling very sick. McKinnon just kept getting even more cranky and upset because one, she's teething, she just doesn't feel good, and two, she's tired of being in her car seat. <laughs> um, she's been on, Riley's like all up, all over me right now because she's so happy that we're home. Um, but two, she's tired of being in her car seat because um, yeah, we've been traveling a whole lot and even when we were in Texas, we were out going places every single day, so the past week she's been in her car seat a lot and I think she was just done. She didn't want to be in her car seat anymore, so I don't blame her. Um, but we are home now and what's this? No baby? So McKinnon is not here she is with matthew's parents and megan they are staying at an airbnb nearby technically it's a vrbo v a vrbo what's mm -hmm. that vacation rent by owner okay um but anyway they are saying it's that <laughs> nearby and they decided to take mckinnon for the night which is amazing because I feel absolutely terrible and Matthew has to get up early for meetings in the morning so for either of us getting up in the middle of the night for McKinnon would not be fun um, but this is the first time we have not had a baby overnight since McKinnon was born so in our house yeah in our house this is gonna be really weird. Matthew was saying, he was like, we're gonna be able to sleep through the night. And I was like, I don't know if my body knows how to do that anymore. <laughs> because even when we were at my mom's house and she had McKinnon out um, where she was sleeping, it was like, I could hear McKinnon through the walls. So like, I still woke up when she cried. So I was like, it still kind of felt the same even though I wasn't getting up when she cried I still woke up when she cried 
so yeah it's gonna be weird <laughs> but I'm kind of like woo I can get some sleep but at the same time I'm like I'm probably gonna wake up in a panic at some point like why hasn't McKinnon woken up <laughs> But anyway, the cats are so happy we're home. I walked in, they were both in the bedroom, and I came to the door, Henry was on the bed, Riley was laying on the floor, and I was like, hi kitties! And they both came running over to me, and they were so happy! And I'm so happy to see them. They're probably both gonna cuddle with me tonight. I'm gonna get some rest, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!